Air brake system is an important part of coaches considering functional and operational safety. Here, compressed air is used to operate the brake system. What is compressed air? The compressed air is a form of stored energy, which means it is the air that is pressurized to greater than atmospheric pressure. The air brake system is classified as direct release air brake system and graduated release air brake system. Direct and graduated releases are classified as single pipe brake system and twin pipe brake system. Friends, in this topic, we will learn about bogey mounted brake arrangement, major components, and its working function. The Integral Coach Factory is one of the earliest production units of independent India. These coaches come with twin bogey set assemblies. The brake cylinders are mounted on the bogey. Two brake cylinders are used for each bogey. Let's see its parts. Air hose with palm end coupling. Cut off angle cock. Brake pipe and feed pipe. Dirt collector. Non return valve. Isolating cock. Distributor valve. Control reservoir, CR. Auxiliary reservoir, AR. Brake cylinder, BC. ICF coaches used a twin pipe brake system. The white color pipe is feed pipe FP. And the green color pipe is brake pipe BP. These two pipes connect throughout the coach. Here, from the feed pipe, the branch pipe enters the 200 liters auxiliary reservoirs via a dirt collector and non-return valve. The output pipe enters the DV common brackets. The 20 mm BP branch pipe from BP main pipe enters DV. 10 mm BP pipe connects both side bogey brake cylinders. Both sides of isolating cock are used to isolate the bogey. Let's see what happens when the driver applies the brake. The locomotive compressor charges the feed pipe 6 kg per square centimeter and the brake pipes 5 kg per square centimeter throughout the length of the train. The control reservoir is charged to 5 kg per square centimeter. The feed pipe is connected to the auxiliary reservoir and the brake pipe is connected to the DV. During the brake application, Brake pipe pressure is reduced, which is sensed by the distributor valve to operate the brake cylinder. At this time, the auxiliary reservoir connects to the BP by the distributor valve. The pneumatic pressure increased in the brake cylinder, causing the piston assembly to move outward, thereby causing the lever to rotate about its fulcrum, thus bringing the brake block come in contact with the wheel. Here, the lever is hung on the bogey frame through lever hangers. It will start moving forward, causing pull the connecting rod to move forward, hence resulting in contact with the brake block. Maximum brake cylinder pressure developed is 3.8 plus 0.1 kilograms per square centimeter, as in the case of standard air brake. In releasing condition, the driver moves the handle of the valve to the release position. This movement charges the brake pipe charge to the required pressure of 5 kg per square centimeter. This time, 
the distributor valve and brake cylinder are cut off from the auxiliary reservoir. The air from the brake cylinder is exhausted into the atmosphere and the brakes are released. Sometimes, we get this kind of sound during our journey under the train, and the reason is the braking system. So, if you learn anything from this video, then say yes. See you in the next video, till then take care. Let's grow up. Never stop learning.